Hey, how's it going, internet people? I'm Greg Elliott, and you are watching Screen Rant. Treadstone, as you may have heard, is USA's new series set in the same universe as the Jason Bourne movies. It takes place in both the present day, where new assets of Operation Treadstone are reawakened and sent on new missions, as well as 1973, where it explores the origins of Treadstone itself. And of course, the most famous graduate of the Treadstone program is Jason Bourne, whom we were first introduced to in 2002's The Bourne Identity. So where is he in the new show? Well, I'm sorry, Matt Damon fans, this is kind of like The Bourne Legacy. He doesn't actually show up and his present whereabouts are not explicitly given. But his prior adventures are referenced occasionally, for example, when Ellen Becker, the CIA chief, discusses the history and decommissioning of Treadstone with her boss, who admits that it is, quote, bigger than we thought. Back in 2004, after Bourne exposed Blackbriar in the events of the Bourne Ultimatum, Becker was part of the cleanup crew in New York, but she only remembers Jason as, quote, a rogue asset. One of her agents also says that he was there when that asset went rogue in New York, but that's as far as it goes. So while now as CIA chief Becker would have access to files about Jason, this suggests that back then the knowledge of the details of what happened in New York was above her pay grade. So what else do we know? What you gotta remember is that while most of us, the audience, already knows who Jason Bourne is within the Bourne universe, Treadstone and Blackbriar are Black Ops programs that were kept tightly under wraps from most of the agency. So his very existence is a closely guarded need to know kind of secret. And considering Bourne's war against the CIA happened close to 20 years ago with plenty of new people joining the agency since then, it makes a lot of sense that not a lot of people would actually know who he is. It also suggests that in the years after Blackbriar was shut down, that there's been a cover up about all of it, Treadstone, Blackbriar, and Jason Bourne. And also keep in mind that David Webb, that's Jason's real name if you'd forgotten, was only three years old in 1973, so he definitely won't appear during the prequel story parts of the show, sorry. But Jason did resurface as recently as 2016 in the events of Jason Bourne when he exposed the late CIA director Robert Dewey's plan to use the social media platform Deep Dream as a cover for Iron Hand, an even more ruthless version of Blackbriar. Heather Lee, the head of the CIA's Cyber Ops Division, tried to recruit him afterwards, but Jason knew she was kind of two-faced, so he pieced out and disappeared. His current whereabouts are unknown, which means he's definitely off the grid and doing his own thing. Treadstone is trying to build off the formula that the Bourne movies laid down before it, so it does suck that Jason Bourne doesn't appear on the show or is even mentioned by name, at least in the four episodes that were sent for a review. The opening credits state that the show is, quote, based on an organization in Robert Ludlum's novel, so it's obviously trying to expand the universe beyond Jason Bourne, hoping that fans will enjoy the new characters and storyline enough to stay glued to the series even without him. Although the last time they tried to do something Bourne related without Jason Bourne, that means you the Bourne legacy, audiences really didn't take to it like they'd hoped. So it remains to be seen if Treadstone will take off without the star power of Matt Damon behind it. I'm sure the character will get more references and mentions here and there, and who knows, in Hollywood nothing's impossible, so never say never, right? So have you caught any of Treadstone yet? We'd love to know what you thought and how you think Jason Bourne may or may not play into the show going forward. We'll definitely let you know if he makes an appearance, so make sure to check back with Screen Rant to stay in the loop. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you next time. Peace.